again, Pokey people. Lovely to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So first off, um, if you watched the last video where we opened Gigi End, I'm filming this video immediately afterwards. So I'm still in a bit of a mood. And this is a box for a friend. Very, very good friends. So there's a chance I might start crying. And apologies in advance if I do. But also apologies if you said anything nice in the comments of the last video. And I'm not acknowledging because th that video is not uploaded yet. So, you know, this videos in the future from that video, but I don't know what happened in between, so thank you and apologies in advance, and this is a really weird introduction. Meep. So what have I had here? It is a, a big old box from my very good friends Taj and Nahal. Now I know what some things are in this box, because Taj and I did a trade. He was picking up a couple things for me that, um, well, I could have got them for myself, but it's more fun getting them from friends. We helped each other out. And that's one of the really amazing things about this community that I love so much is that we do help each other out, even though I've been super unreliable lately. Oh my god, I'm sorry, everybody. Um, now, unfortunately, something happened over here. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It's been opened and inspected. Obviously, I've stripped all the addresses and things off the top. I hope everything inside is okay. Um, apologies in advance to Taj and Nahal if things are not as they should be inside. I hope that um, customs didn't destroy anything. So let's just chop right into this. I'm not even hitting the right spot. <laughs> look at the box. Don't look at the camera, Sarah. That's how this works. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, it was a tough call. I have another thing I could open right now, but I was like, you know what? I want to film opening this first. And... Um, the other thing I need to open is a box of double blades, so it's like, that can wait, because if I get all emotional or something, because I'm already emotional, um, that's okay. I can, like, figure that out and then get on with life, um, but I figured the double blades, like, that doesn't need, that, like, there's no, there's no time limit on that one. We've already passed and moved on to the next set, so it's okay if we don't open that box right away. There we go. Okay, everything's chopped open. Put the box cutter to the side. Now the blades are tacked. Oh, we're gonna hit the camera. Boop, boop. Hello, camera. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so much in here. You know what? I'm just holding the camera. <gasps> Look at all the things. Look at all the things. All right. Um, I can see there's a note here. So let's pull items out. And you know what? We'll. Ooh, ooh. You know what? That's the easiest way to do it. Let's just get everything out of the box. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. Oh no, something's falling. Please don't. I hope you guys didn't see the mess over there. <laughs> Please don't judge me on my messy apartment. There's so much clutter. Okay, let us put this down here. That was on the bottom. And this has a note in it, so we'll go for it. the note very first, because that's the most important. <gasps> Yay! Dear Sarah, we hope this package gets to you safely. We have missed not seeing new videos from you and hope you had an amazing time with your family. Glad you're back. Good luck with the polls. Lots of love from your dear friends, Taj and Nahal. Thank you, guys. I am, I am really sorry, like, to everybody about the lack of regular videos. Um, I think you guys pretty much understand why at this point. I probably don't need to keep explaining, but I feel like I need to keep explaining and apologizing anyways. All right, let's slide out here. I just assume since this had the note in it that this is where we should start. That is a sort of high quality plastic. It's like vinyl. Ooh. I can't stop touching it. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look here first. To Sarah. Hope you enjoy. Good luck. Oh, that's not even a focus. Good luck with the polls. Oh, Tash in the hall. So cute. Oh, I love getting signed cards. I don't have enough of them because I've been super unreliable, but that's okay. I will, I will get my own little collection someday. Let's have a look at these first. We've got... <gasps> Pikachu! Oh, it's so cute! And another Pikachu! Is this all Pikachus? <gasps> it is! Oh my gosh! Thank you, guys! <gasps> so many cute Pikachus to add to my Pikachu collection! Oh, I love this Pikachu, too! It's such a happy one! <gasps> and this one, the Shibuzo Pikachu! Oh, yes! <gasps> oh, an Ashes Pikachu from the movie! Very nice! Thank you, guys! And I don't know if you guys noticed, Look at this amazing Detective Pikachu lanyard with this little thing on the end. I could put some, you know, I could probably actually put my work ID in that. <laughs> I don't know if I should wear the Pikachu lanyard to work, but I love the idea of putting my, like, my employee card and stuff in there. Um, we wear name tags when we're teaching, but I like the idea of 
you know, actually putting my company ID in that. That would be hilarious. <gasps> and we have a pair of coins here. Is the Nyebi coin. I love it. Great minds think alike. Taj and Nahal have sent me the Nyabi coin, and Dark Squall also sent me the blister packs that came with the Nyabi coin. It's just, I have some absolutely fantastic friends in the UK. I need to go to the UK at some point. Um, I was there once, a long, long time ago. A long, yeah, it is a long, long time, like 14 years ago. Uh, I'm so old! That's okay. <laughs> I've made peace with it. 35 is a good number. Um, beautiful Lola Ninetales coin as well. Yes, I would love to go back to the UK. My experience there was okay. I was on a tour, so you know, you didn't really get to do things the way that you want to do them and enjoy things the way you want to enjoy them. But I would really like to go back because it was beautiful and, you know, obviously, I, if you know my last name, I have a very, very English name. Um, my family would be mostly English with a little bit of Irish, and then goodness knows what else is in there because, you know, England must have been invaded a bajillion times by, like, the Romans and, like, the Vikings, and goodness knows who else has been there. So, I mean, there's really no such thing as pure English anymore, is there? Probably not. It would be really cool to do that sometime. I've actually heard, um, I'm just going to flip through this while I'm talking about other things. <laughs> Oh, the artwork is beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy to have this. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it'd be really fun to do one of those, like, Ancestry and Me things. Um, but I've actually heard at least one of the brands. <gasps> Look at how beautiful that is. Um, I don't know if it's banned, but basically you can't use it if you're in Japan. Like, Japan specifically is like, you can't do this. I think it might have something to do with the spitting in a tube. Like, <gasps> look at that Charizard artwork. That is amazing. But I think it's got something to do with the fact that, um, oh, that Blastoise, too. I am just, like, oh, all the artwork. Oh, I was expecting Venusaur. <laughs> Still, this is amazing. Thank you. I love these albums. And speaking of, we'll do the other albums over here next before we get into this. Um, yeah, I think it has something to do with the fact that you have to send biological materials through the post that Japan is, like, not okay with. There could be something else, but that would make sense to me. Like, you know, if you're a postman, do you really want to be handling tubes of spit? Probably not. But, yeah, it would be really cool to do that sometime and find out, like, what am I? What am I? Where did I come from? I don't know. So these I really wanted because I love Mitsuhiro Arita's artwork on these portfolios. And what I want to do is actually have a little collection of all of the tag team cards with the Mitsuhiro Arita artwork. So, obviously, one of these is going to be holding all of those. But which one? <gasps> and we have here Thunder Kitten! I think all the Thunder Kitten cards need to go in here now. <laughs> I know there's Blacephalon on the back, and it's amazing. But it's all about the Thunder Kitten love for me. <gasps> that is so beautiful. Thank you so much, guys, for getting these to me. There's certain things in Japan that I just cannot get as easily as they can be gotten elsewhere, including these fantastic tins. So as soon as I heard about these, I wanted them because look at how cute they are. I love that the artwork continues from one to the next. Um, I believe, I haven't seen anyone open these, but I believe there is like an art card inside that actually shows what the full artwork is, which you guys have probably already seen by now. But you know what? It's new and special for me and something I really, 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 really wanted because they're adorable. These tins are gonna fall down, so let's do this. Boom, we'll put the tins there for the moment and we will stop and look at this. Look at this. I didn't realize this was this big. <gasps> You know what, I was saying recently in a video that I need more albums to put cards in, so this is fantastic. Look at that, full size. Oh, it is so beautiful. I would love to talk to Mizuhiro Arita and ask how he does these artworks. Because looking at it, I feel like I'm seeing maybe pencil crayon and watercolor paints, but it could also be done entirely digitally. I'm really not sure. I would love to just know more about his process. And of course, we got Celebi and Venusaur in the back, but I'm all about these boys. <gasps> Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I am probably going to have to spend a day off just organizing my collection and figuring out what's going to go where. But that is amazing. Thank you so much, Taj and Nahal, for getting this for me. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. I could just stare at it all day. Can we just do that? Oh, no, we can't because we have the tins. We have the tins. Tin time. 
<laughs> so obviously I think I'm feeling a little bit better. We're doing okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Mood is improving. I was a little bit worried that like I was gonna get to the note or something and just break down bawling like a baby, but we're okay, we're okay. So I don't know, is there a particular order we should do these in? Probably not, but I'm going to go with Charmander first. So if I understand right, I'm assuming since there's rattling, there's a coin in here. And there, oh, here we go. Two booster packs, a coin, an art card, and the tin, of course. All right. Um, what is the best way to open these? I don't want to damage the tins. I guess we will cut them all open, and then we will look at the contents and open the packs all at once, rather than doing it a bit at a time. Did I even cut that? No, I didn't. Oh, no, I did. There's a hole there. There's a hole in the side of the tin. Well, there's a hole in the plastic on the tin. <laughs> Do you guys know that song? That's one of those ones that's like, annoy your parents on a long car ride song. I think it starts off as like, you're at, you know, camp, and you learn it as a campfire song, and then it becomes, let's annoy everybody on the car ride. Because you get to the end of it, and it's like, was it? There is a germ on the flea, on the hair, on the ward, on the bump, on the back of the frog, on the bump, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. Do you know what? Probably not. I'm just gonna open this tin now. <laughs> Awkward. Ooh. That's a really secure tin, too. Holy cow. They're hinged. Are they hinged? No. Okay, there we go. I'm like opening it as though it is hinged. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> now, the real question is, what kind of sleeves would fit on these? I'm betting these do not. Oh, it's a little too short. But you know what? We're just going to slide that on anyways, just if it will go. Nope, it's not the right size at all. All right, I will have to get some nice things. You know what? Actually, <laughs> I have right over here da -da, um, some top loaders. Let's just gently slide that in there. I want to keep these safe. I mean, I think all of them are going to have slightly bunged up corners from being in the tins, but oh my goodness, look at that little farfetch back there too. He's just staring right into my soul. And look, there's the log with the bump in the hole in the bottom of the sea. That is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, that shows you what position it is in the picture. Even though you'd probably be able to figure that out because it's not a very complicated puzzle. But hey, 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 hey. I, I am allowed. You know what? Let's just put this down here. So we have, ooh, Alola Ninetales is our coin. And these packs, you know what? We'll pull the packs out after. <laughs> I'm just going to crack open all these tins. You know what? Actually, let's pause. I'm going to crack them all open and be right back. Okay, plastic is off all the tins. Now we can open them up. Next up, we'll look at the cute little Bulbasaur. So I think what I'll do is once we've got them all opened, um, then I will pop the packs out off camera and do the thing with the stuff. And the stuffs. We have another little nine tails. I wish I was allowed to give gifts to my students because I feel like they would love things like some of these coins, but um, we're technically not allowed to do that. Very, very cute. I'm loving this artwork. Who did this art, by the way? Does it say? It does not. I want to know which of the artists did these because they it's just stunning artwork. Like It's adorable and beautiful and just very, very special. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like Whoever it is, thank you. <laughs> you are amazing. Look at this. Oh, I didn't even realize Magikarp was hanging out back there. All right, let's pop open this one. Wait, what was I saying about? Oh, yeah, giving gifts to students. Um, technically, like, we're allowed to give out stickers, but that's about it. Um, that one's really stuck. Oh, there we go. Another Alola Ninetales coin. Um, we can give out stickers as long as they're nothing brand named. So Pokemon stickers would not be allowed because it's a copyrighted character that my company does not have the distribution rights to. Um, copyright law is complicated and very, very strictly enforced in Japan to an extent. I really doubt that like the Pokemon company is going to come after me if I gave a kid a Pikachu sticker during my non-Pokemon related English classes. But still, it's not worth the risk. Um, basically what I think it comes down to is like, if somehow the kid got sick or injured because of the sticker and then the parents complained to the Pokemon company and tried to sue them, then it would come back to my company and we don't have the rights to distribute that product to children and 
you can see what I mean. It just gets really complicated and messy unnecessarily, but it would be so cool if I could do things and be like, hey kids, here's some English Pokemon cards because I have so much bulk. <laughs> be like, let's just throw them at the children. Here you are. Dozo, enjoy. This is so cute. Even the Magnemite is super cute. I can't get over this. I'm, I'm also really sorry if this is cringing anybody <laughs> putting them in the top loaders, but I want to keep them safe until I figure out what kind of sleeves are the right size for them to keep them permanently safe. <gasps> Look at how fantastic that is. I'm also wondering, maybe I could just get like a little frame or something and put them all in so that at least the picture's all together. That would be amazing, right? Have you guys gotten these tins? Have you done this? What did you do? What are your creative solutions? Oh goodness, this one really doesn't want to open either. <laughs> I feel like a couple of these are super duper secure. I mean, if there's a way to like, I guess I could put even the tins in like a shadow box or something. I don't know. Oh my goodness, why can't I do this? Oh, oh, it's a bloodbath. I'm so sorry, Evie Tin. Ah! Another Alola Ninetales coin. I wonder why they chose to put only Alola Ninetales coins in there. I mean, we know how they are with the English products. They really like sticking stuff in there that they're having trouble getting rid of. So you kind of expect that they just plop a whole bunch of random old coins in there rather than the same coin in every one. But hey, you know what? It's a little nine tails and it's beautiful. And these are super cute. Okay, I need to pull all the packs out so we can open them. And they're really in there in case you hadn't noticed. Like, look at how they are smushed in there. So give me a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Although for you, it'll be a matter of moments. And we're back with 10 packs. <laughs> so I wasn't surprised to see Burning Shadows in here because I knew they were putting older products in, but Fates Collide? Really? Really? Okay, Pokemon Company. So we're going to do Burning Shadows second, obviously, because we're going to go from oldest to youngest. <laughs> youngest. <laughs> but um, Burning Shadows, I'm actually really excited about because goodness knows what fantastic stuff could be in there. There's some really good stuff. Fates Collide, um, I don't know. Obviously, there could be a Lugia or an Alakazam in here. There could be good stuff. I really don't remember what's in X and Y at all anymore. Um, goodness, we just butchered that pack. And I have to try and remember the pack trick and everything. Oh my goodness. Um... Was it three and two for X and Y? I feel like it is. I could be crazy, though. We have a Diglett, looking adorable. Larvitar, I can read the names. Meow! Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> Coughing. Burmy. Oh, goodness. Yeah, Burmy's a thing. Uh, last is special. Omanite. Devolution spray. De-evolution. Devolution. How do you say it? We have a Fennekin reverse and... Oh my goodness. Um, okay, Fates Collide. I see you. I see what you're doing. <gasps> Full Art Glaceon GX. Holy cow, look at the texture on this thing. Can, how close will my camera allow us? This makes me crazy. It's because this camera is on macro mode. Macro mode and fine detail right now. And still, sometimes I get close and it's like romantic, out of focus softness. And I'm like, no, no, no. I want this detail. Show everybody the details. Oh. <gasps> That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Taj and Hall, guys. You, you, you picked really nice tins. Thank you. Oh my goodness. We don't even need to open the rest of the packs, do we? But we're going to do it anyways. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Completely unexpected. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Um, X and Y, you can stay, I guess. I need to... I actually had spoiled the code card for myself on that one so i closed my eyes this time around if we're not in focus i'm sorry my eyes were closed Oop. and we aren't in focus are we coughing meowth again hi meowth larvitar i guess we're gonna pretty much diggle it pretty much complete the set aren't we uh spoink wheezing halucha Ooh, chaos tower very cool card i feel like we haven't had any of these like i don't know what do you call them these types of stadium cards in Sun and Moon, where it's got two different sides to it. Dugong Reverse and an Exploud. But you know what? Fair enough. If we get all green codes at this point, I think that's okay. Because one fantastic pull totally balances it all out. I mean, you can't complain. Wait, we said three and two, didn't we? That seemed to work. 
<laughs> we got Fennekin Solosis with a shelter who's not looking too happy about things back there. Um, Riolu, I don't know. Have I been in focus? Yell at me if I'm not, because that'll work. Fairy Garden! I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounded much more aggressive than it should have. We've got Breaks In, Scorched Earth, and a Moltres. Beautiful Oyama artwork. All right, let's go into pack number four of X and Y. And why are they putting X and Y in products at this point? Nobody knows, but that's what they do. That is how they do the thing. One, two, three, and two. Let's see what happens. Although X and Y has the break cards, but it doesn't work that the break card can sneak into a normal one, right? It's not like the Prism Stars where they could sneak in. Is it? I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, we almost missed something. Helix Fossil Almanite Deerling. Very cute. Oh, and that's Kanako Eo Art, who's another artist I love. And another Oyama Moltres. All right, last pack of X and Y. Let's see what happens here. I mean, we can't really beat that first pack. That uh, You can't beat that first pack. It's just not possible. But, you know, we can try. We can try anyways. I need to make sure I close my eyes and don't look at the code card. Because the last one, I kind of saw it. But that's okay, because it's X and Y, so our expectations are low. Expectations. See what I did there? <laughs> Wismer. Fennekin. Very cute. Solosis. Schneivy. Very cute, too. Zygarde. Warmadam. Pokemon Fan Club. Wigglytuff! It's so cute. That's me after I eat a pizza. It's like, I, I relate to you so much, Wigglytuff. And a Delphox Hollow. Pretty darn good. For five packs, we got a Hollow and a Full Art. Like, I don't know what the pull rates were for English X and Y back in the day, but that seems pretty good to me. But now we have five Burning Shadows packs. So obviously, um, these guys on the covers could be in here. But if I remember right, Burning Shadows is also where Acerola is hiding, isn't she? Ooh, I really doubt we're going to pull a second one. But, but, you know, there's good things in Burning Shadows. What? What have I done? What have I done? I don't even know anymore. Okay. Let's just do the thing once again. Close my eyes, throw the code card behind me, and now we're doing one, two, three, four to the front, right? Yes? Oh, I got it right. I feel so smart now. I feel so accomplished. I feel like my life is getting back together somehow. <laughs> Through the course of this recording, suddenly I have reached peak adulthood. This is a sandy guest. How do you? Oh, hi, Hoot Hoot. Shibuzo, Tangela. I just need to announce every time it's Shibuzo artwork because I love Shibuzo. I love, like, there's so many of the artists I would love to meet. Shibuzo is one of them. I'd love to get some cards signed, but also just to, like, you know, tell Shibuzo how amazing they are. I don't know if they're male or female. I kind of assume female, but I also try not to assume genders because you just, you don't do that in today's day and age. It's not okay. Lichen Rock and Vileplume Hollow. Very nice. Those are complex topics. I don't think I should get into on my channel, but... You know, gender is one of those things where it's like, yes, it is a social construct, but also our language is so limited and it feels dehumanizing to say they when I don't know how somebody prefers to be referred to. But like, how do you find out these things? And even if you go online and look and be like, oh, here's a picture. Or here's what someone else has said in an article without asking the person directly. How do I know? I don't know. So I'm just trying my best to be a decent human being and often feel like I'm failing and I am sorry, everybody. Have I apologized enough today? I don't think I have. <laughs> As a Canadian, we must apologize at least 10 times per day or we will lose our citizenship. It is the law. This is another Sandy guest, by the way. Pan Sage, reverse. I'm knocking over coins. We got a whole stack of coins here. doop a doop And Electrovire. Rockler. Rare? That is rare, right? I think it is. I think it is. Why is my voice deep all of a sudden? I don't know. I think it must be the result of... Tapu Fini. She suddenly made me feel very manly. I don't know. What is... <laughs> ah, we're having a day. We're having a morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. I think my day's off to a pretty good start, though. Whirlipede Guzma. Wait. Is he in here? Was he burning shadows? <gasps> he could be. I still need the original Guzma full art and the original Lusamine full art. Um, because of the whole thing that happened, it's not really possible to get those packs anymore. At least not at 
a reasonable price. They're all really, really marked up in Japanese packs, prices, things. Secondhand market, you know what I'm talking about. Azumarill! So I can't just go out and do my looking for lovely ladies, and I can't do like a searching for Guzma or anything. But those are two cards I still need to get in Japanese. And obviously I still want the Japanese Acerola, but she's very expensive to buy as a single. So if they don't ever bring back those packs, which I really don't think they will, it's just been too long and we've got a new game coming up in the fall. So there'll be new card series starting and everything. Oh, so much to think about. But basically I think if I'm going to get Japanese Acerola, I'm either going to have to bite the bullet and buy her as a single, which is going to hurt financially, or I need to try some crazy, crazy mystery packs, which I haven't done in a long time, and it would be really fun to do some, but um, we'll have to see. I also feel like I have it. well, I haven't been watching my friends' videos, but I feel like I haven't seen a lot of mystery pack videos popping up lately, which leads me to believe they haven't been as kind to people lately, because if you see a lot of them showing up, it means they're popular, and when they're popular, that usually means people are getting good pulls from them. But if they're not popular at this moment, that leads me to think they haven't been very kind. And this is a reverse barrel, and that's a dark right hollow. But you know what I mean, right? Like, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta watch out for these things. Um, the mystery packs, I've always thought they were a lot of fun. The big magic ones are so much fun. Um, but it is a gamble, and I do feel like everyone gets really hyped about them at some points and somebody will get some really good pulls and then everybody wants them and then people don't get good pulls and then, you know, it all kind of fades away again until the next round of super amazing pack shows up. So you got to keep an eye on these things and, you know, there's no real right or wrong time to buy them, I guess, but keep an eye on it and spend your money wisely. Sometimes it's better just to buy the card that you want rather than gamble all your money away and get a whole bunch of bulk that is the adorable Sekio Caterpie that I love so much! Super cute! Ladyba! Inke, which is also Oyama art, by the way, if you didn't notice, it's fantastic! Buffalant Reverse, and a Meow Stick! And you know what? That's okay, because out of 10 packs, pulling this... Oh, don't drop it! Oh my gosh! Crimes Against Humanity! <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> but pulling this card, totally blows everything else out of the water. I don't think anything could have beat this. It is absolutely beautiful. That texture, the colors, the gold. <gasps> I love it so much. Boop. What is this? A recap of sorts. I'm sure most of you have probably already seen these before, but if you haven't, I just wanted to finish up by going through all five pictures so you could see the artwork somewhat together-ish. So of course we start on the left with Bulbasaur being adorable in the flowers. And then we move on to Pikachu, of course down here, those were Oddishes. Um, <laughs> Pikachu and Magnemite with a little bit of Chansey and Oddish cut off there. Then we got more Chansey and the super cute Eevee and a little hint of what's to come over here. Who could it be? It's Charmander with that far-fetched in the bushes. <laughs> he just, he looks like he knows something. I don't know what he knows, but he knows it. And it's making me feel more confident because he's like, I know this and I believe in you and you got this. And I'm like, yeah, heck yeah. And he's just like, look at my booty. Let's put him down. <laughs> and then we have this super cute Squirtle and a Magikarp by the waterfall. Absolutely fantastic. I love this idea. It would have been nice if they made like one big long postcard or like a mini poster or something. But considering that even these all got a little bent up being shoved in the tins, I don't know if I would have trusted them to make something any bigger or more complicated than this. But still, beautiful artwork, fantastic execution, I have to say overall. And it's really cute. It makes me feel better. And I hope it makes you smile too. Well, got to wrap this up with a massive, massive thank you to my friends Taj and Nahal. Thank you so much, guys. This was absolutely wonderful. I am really happy we were able to do this trade despite my being completely unreliable. They, they had to wait so long for me to mail things, like literally months. Like, I think I had cards I'd ordered for Taj for like two months at least. I am super unreliable right now, guys. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit of a mess, but if there's things that people want me to buy for them, please do not ask me. Um, Plaza Japan's excellent for ordering Japanese products. There's tons of other websites, eBay and Amazon and everything for ordering things. Um, if you're trying to chase down cards, 
those are your best sources. Don't ask me right now. Um, not because I'm like, I don't want to help, but because I can't guarantee I will get anything done on time. I am way behind on everything, super unreliable. And so I'm super appreciative that Taj and Nahal helped me out with this trade and were patient with me. And just thank you so much, guys. This really means a lot to me. I really needed this this morning. I am a much happier camper now. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. And of course, I'm going to link Taj and Hall's channels. They each have one. Father and son each have their own YouTube channel down below. Please drop in, say hi, tell them you love them and that I love them and that we thank them very much for all this. And, you know, they're uploading a lot more regularly than I am. So if you need more delicious English and or Japanese pack openings, go and have a pop over because they make really good videos and I miss watching them and I am so far behind in everything and now I'm making myself sad again. No, that's not the point of this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you lovely pokey people for being patient with me and I hopefully will see you again very, very soon. Well, it's going to be soon for me because I'm just going to go ahead and film a third video right after this. So, ah, see you soon. Love you very much. Hope you have a wonderful day. And, um, yeah. Don't forget to hug an orange. Bye-bye.